After 10 months of private talks throughout 2019, the Adelaide City Council and the Adelaide Football Club have finally revealed the extent of their plans. They've been plotting the handover of this land in the world unique National Heritage listed Adelaide Park Lands. This is the proposed site, the ageing Adelaide Aquatic Centre. Who would benefit? The Adelaide Crows are wholly controlled by the Melbourne based AFL. They are a big business. This is their current building at West Lakes, and it's not big enough for them. So the AFC wants this site, not just for a swimming pool, but for much, much more. The space for all of these extras would be a gift from you to the AFL. The Adelaide Football Club is prepared to put in a pool and a leisure centre too, but it'll all be done to increase profits for their football business. This is the sort of building that they say they want. With $15 million donated by the federal government, the Crows could buy land and build anywhere they wanted. But the City Council has encouraged them to go for this public land in the world unique National Heritage listed Adelaide Parklands. Design pictures released so far propose covering a smaller footprint than the existing aquatic centre. So it must be okay, right? There are three reasons why not. Firstly, the proposed public aquatic centre would be only one third of the building. Most of the floor space would be private for profit, not public. The proposed public swimming pool is just the bribe that the crows are willing to pay to get their headquarters established here. Second, why would the land grab stop in 2020 at just one building site valued at $40 million? When a powerful organisation gets established on parklands, it grows and grows. And third, it would not be a small building. The total floor area would be almost as large as the flight deck of the world's largest aircraft carrier. The Crow's chief executive says they wouldn't have a liquor licence, at least not at first. He also says that despite investing heavily to improve the playing surface of this community oval, they wouldn't put any fence around it. Boy, you must think I'm stupid. Yes, we'd be stupid to accept those current assurances. <laughs> any assurances given today are meaningless. It's impossible to believe that the club or the council would resist future football fan pressure to get a crow's shed on this site, or in coming years, fence the oval. So why is the City Council encouraging this proposed parklands takeover? Their excuses just don't ring true. We can't afford to fix up the aquatic centre. It costs too much to run. Every public swimming pool loses money, but finances could be improved if the centre was scaled back to a more manageable size. Down at Port Elliot, two councils joined together to build a new Flurio Aquatic Centre. Burnside has a full-size outdoor pool. Campbelltown has an indoor aquatic and rec centre. So does Port Lincoln. We're following a proper process for an unsolicited bid. No, the council's following an improper process for public parklands. Here are the council's own parklands plans being ignored. We've given the Crow's guiding principles to protect the parklands. The council's so-called guiding principles are a vague and unenforceable wish list of what the council wants the Crows to deliver. They are shot through with holes. We've got a suggestion for new principles. Perhaps parklands should be for the people rather than for profit. Park 2 is named in honour of South Australia's first female Olympian. Denise Norton represented Australia at the 1952 Helsinki Olympics. Now she's competing to prevent the Crows building their planned empire 
here in Denise Norton Park. Really, they're just buying the parklands, and the parklands are not for sale. They belong to the people of Adelaide. The crows surely have somewhere else to go. I will stand here in front of the bulldozers if I need to. I'm 86 now, and I hope that I can be there and I'll leave this rebellion. I, I want to do something before I die. I need help. Donate to Denise's campaign and make sure you respond to the City Council's consultation before the 19th of February. There are better options for the Crows and better options for the Council. Keep this park for the public.